there and welcome to Missy's Kitchen coming to you from the beautiful province of Prince Edward Island. Today in the kitchen we're going to be making cranberry meatballs. So what you're going to need to make the meatballs are ground beef and ground pork, breadcrumbs, eggs, some seasonings, some lee and parons, some soy sauce, and some salt and pepper. Okay, so let's get started. So we have our ground meat. You can use a meat substitute if you want to. I've done that before and they're delicious. So I'm gonna put my breadcrumbs in, probably about two cups. And what I use is stove top and I just put it in the blender because it has a lot of spices in it already and herbs and it just tastes really good. Okay, now we're gonna put our eggs in. Some pepper. much as you want. Some salt. Some soy sauce. This gives it a nice flavor. And some W sauce because I can't say the word. If you need to add any more after it's mixed you can do that. Okay, now onto the spices. So I have a bit of sage here. Maybe about a half a tablespoon of sage. Some garlic powder. About a tablespoon of that. Onion powder. You can put in whatever you like. Everybody's taste is different. Celery salt. Uh, Italian seasoning. A tablespoon of that. And some poultry seasoning if I can get it open. Half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of that. Okay, make sure you wash your hands and you're just going to go right in and mix everything up. You don't want the mixture to be too dry or too wet. You want your meatballs to be able to stay together in the oven. my oven going off. You want to have your oven on 350. 350 to 375. And there we go. So you're going to want to get a cookie sheet and put some parchment paper on it and now we're ready to roll the meatballs. I use a cookie scoop just because it's more consistent. all roughly the same size. It's the best way to do them in the oven. Less mess. And they cook evenly. This should make quite a few meatballs so it's good for a few nights. The kids can even help you. Or you, some of them are bigger than the others. You can save those ones for yourself. You can even do half meatballs and then use the rest for a meatloaf if you wanted to. Switch it up a bit. And that's one tray. We'll put that aside and we'll get the other tray. to bake. Okay, put them in the oven. I'll put 
both racks in at the same time. You're going to want to cook those for about 40 to 45 minutes. Non più trai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girando, delle belle torvando al riposo. So what's a meatball without sauce? So today we're going to make a cranberry sauce to go with our meatballs. And we're going to use brown sugar, some cranberry jelly, some soy sauce, some W sauce, and some ketchup. So I've got my pot ready here and we're going to turn the burner on and I'm going to go probably a higher heat. It's on nine and then we're going to add our three cans of cranberry jelly. And what I do here is I take the masher and just mash the jelly down. Okay, and then we're going to add our brown sugar. Some soy sauce. W sauce. You can use a sugar substitute as well in here. And some ketchup. Probably about a cup. Give this a stir. Gonna let that come to a boil and then you're gonna turn it right down. Okay, yeah, I've turned my burner down, turn it down a bit more. It really doesn't take long for it to start to boil. Might also want to turn your meatballs over. About halfway through. I'll just let that go. And we're just going to set this aside off the burner until the meatballs are done and then it'll go over the meatballs and into the oven and cook some more. We'll turn our burner off and set it to the side. Meatballs are out of the oven and this kitchen smells so good. So next step is we're going to take the meatballs and put them in a casserole dish. Line them up. You can even freeze these, they'll freeze well. You don't want to use all of them in one night. If you have a family like mine, they sneak in the fridge in the middle of the night and eat these, so I've got to make them all. Just get the next pan. Now we'll get our sauce. So the next step is we're going to pour the cranberry sauce over the meatballs. Well, this looks so good. Okay, 
set that aside. I'm just going to move them around a bit and make sure that the sauce settles in between. And the next step is to put it in the oven for 30 minutes on 350. And this is how we like to have our cranberry meatballs with a side of rice. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, bye for now.